Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we took care of our single post pages and just the regular pages. Okay, so now what I want to do is work on the widgets. Right now, the sidebar is just all static HTML, and we want to change that. So first thing we're going to do is open up functions.php, and we need support for widgets. We also need to define the positions we want the widgets um, to be to be able to be placed. All right, so we're going to go. Let's see, we'll just we'll just go to the bottom here, and let's say widget locations, and let's create a function. We're going to use our prefix. What was it? WPB underscore, and we'll say init widgets. Okay, and that's going to take in an ID. What we want to do here is we want to call register underscore sidebar. Okay, now no matter where you're going to put your widgets, even if it's like say in the header or the footer or main content, you're still going to use this register sidebar. It doesn't have to be a sidebar. All right, so this widget um, we're going to pass in an array. All right, and then the name we're going to set to sidebar. Okay, it doesn't have to be sidebar, but it just so happens that's what we're doing. We also need an ID, which is going to be a lowercase version. Okay, now we can also specify before widget, and that's going to be any HTML that we want to, to go right before the widget. All right, now let me just take a look at our HTML and see what we're working with here. Uh, where are we? Index. Okay, so it looks like we have our sidebar. Module inset. Okay, so it looks like each little block here has a class of sidebar module. So what we'll do is we'll say before widget, and then we'll put in a div with a class of sidebar module just to keep that um, formatting. Okay, we also want to do after widget because obviously HTML tags have to be closed. Whoops. All right. And we can also choose to do before and after the title. So let's see what that looks like. We have an H4, it looks. Okay, so we'll just do an H4. Of course, you could use H1, H2, whatever you'd like. Okay, so that's our widget. Now, in order for this, uh, this to run, we need to uh, we need to hook it in using add action. All right, so let's go right under it and say add action. And the hook that we want to use is called widgets init. All right, save that. Now, if we go to our back end, initially, we, if we go to appearance, there's no widget option. But since we added that, now if we reload, you should now see a widgets option. Click on that, and you can see we have a sidebar widget. Uh, what we'll do is let's bring over categories. And we'll save that. Now, if we go back to our front end and reload, there's no change because we still have that static HTML. So we're going to change that. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the first div with sidebar module. We want to get rid of that. Okay, next one, we want to get rid of that. And this one, we want to get rid of that. All right, and then in here, what we're going to do is test to see if there are any sidebar widgets. So we can say PHP is sidebar. Actually, no, that's wrong. We want is active sidebar. 
And then when you want to pass in the, the widget ID, which in our case is sidebar. Okay, and then if there is, then we want to say PHP dynamic underscore sidebar. Okay, again, pass in the ID of sidebar. All right, let's save it and go and reload. What's this? Unexpected PHP is active. Oh, I didn't do an if. Okay, so now you can see that it's giving us our categories widget because that's the one, that's the only one that we have enabled. If we go back and let's say we want the archives widget, we'll put that in there. And there we go. Now notice if we click on one of these posts and we go to the single page, we still have this static text. The reason for that is because single.php still has the static HTML. So we need to update it in all places. So let's go to actually in our index, we'll just copy this. Um, actually, you know what a, a better way to do this would be is to actually take all of this down to the container, cut it out and then put it in the footer file. That way we don't have to keep repeating ourselves. So in footer, let's go and paste that in. Okay, and then we'll go to um, single, and we should be able to get everything from this container up to here. Get, just totally get rid of it. All right, and if we reload, that looks good. Go to the index, the home page, that's good. If we go to one of the single pages, that's not good. Okay, we need to edit page.php and what we'll do is just get rid of everything from here up to here and that should fix that okay and I think that's it yeah so now we should have our sidebar widgets on every page and if we click one of these categories it'll take us to a page that only has the post for those categories which is what we want now, if you wanted to edit this or create a custom layout for that, you could go ahead and create a new file called archive.php. And if I reload now, it's totally blank. So what we can do is copy everything in the index, paste it in archive, reload, and you could do what you want here. But I'm just going to leave it as is. There's not really anything that I need to change. All right, so I think I'm going to stop here now that we have our, our sidebar widgets taken care of. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can use multiple post formats.